I, I was taking my lunch when I heard a loud explosion. So when I look uh, behind me, um, I couldn't see anything. So I look for my appliances and I have observed that my uh, induction stove was already uh, turned off. Actually, it was turned off, but the standby light was already off, meaning there's no more power uh, connected to the uh, to the stove. Supposedly, if you plug this one, um, this will remain uh, uh, powered powered on uh, because it has a standby power. But uh, it was already uh, off, so I suspect something like uh, there's something happening inside this. Uh, uh, oven, uh, no, not oven, stove, uh, induction stove. Um, I was uh, using this uh, in cooking my uh, lunch, so it's just about uh, 30 minutes or one hour ago that I used this uh, stove. So I'll check what is wrong with this. So the first suspect is the power unit. Since it was an explosion, then probably there must be a, a smell of, of uh, burn. Amoy <laughs> sunog. So I am going to check this one. Then, if you have noticed, kung makikita nyo dito, pakita ko sa'yo ha. Inarrange ko yung mga screw niya according to uh, the locations ng screw dito sa stove. So, tatlo sa itaas, dalawa sa gitna, and three also down. Ganun siya, para pagbalik mo, hindi ka mawala. <laughs> Kasi yung most of the problems sa ano, problema ng mga electronics technicians, and electrical, o, oh, electronics technicians, pag sinuli na nila yung ano yung appliances may sobrang screw <laughs> yeah okay yan yeah, actually problema uh -huh. so this is the panel para sa ano niya sa kanyang uh, control naka ano pala to siya naka card tingnan natin kung kaya ko ayusin to kung hindi oh Okay, tatanggal ko na yung top cover. Ito yung top cover. So, so this is the panel. Kung titingnan nyo, ito siya. Dito, ang um, lahat ng mga indicators. Yung as, apatin ng mga micro switches, uh, touch switches. Okay. saya-saya nito, dali lang ayusin kasi may mga naka-jacket naka, naka naka, for sure may mga sakit so madali lang tanggalin ito, tingnan mo Obvious na obvious. Kung makikita nyo, pumutok yung component na ito. So, kaya yung putok kanina, hindi siya yung putok na boom. Hindi siya bumba. Parang may crack. So, alam ko agad na it's a component siya ang pumutok. So, walang reason kasi naka-turn off naman yung cooker ko. Itong induction stove. So, I suspect na ang problema talaga is wala na. Nabuta na siya ng lifespan niya. Now, paano ko to papalitan? Yan ang problema ko. It's a capacitor actually. 
ito siya sa capacitor ito yung kanyang uh, ratings hindi ko masyado makikabasa 2 microfarad okay anyway kailangan tanggalin ko to so I'm going to remove the busted capacitor this one so I have to desolder this one using syempre a soldering iron and a desoldering uh, tool ito na yung busted na capacitor it's the terminal um, you see lumabas yung bitoka niya <laughs> it's 2 microfarad you see, you can read that 2 microfarad okay So while waiting for the spare part of my um, damaged uh, induction uh, stove I have to buy a new one because I don't have anything to use so I decided to buy this one from Xiaomi and this is a high-tech uh, not only high-tech but this is a smart induction cooker It's about 2 microfarad and uh, it's not available locally so I have to order it from China. And so in just a matter of 4 days, it arrived today. So I'm going to uh, open this one and uh, correction, it's not MPK but MKP, uh, safety capacitor. So you see here, if you could read that, it's 2 microfarad and it's MKP. We compare with the original, mukhang manipis itong bago. Uh, it's manipis talaga. Okay. So manipis by about uh, 2 mm. Tingnan nyo. Pero, ang terminal niya, oh, tama, tama. Okay? Um, before installing this uh, safety capacitor, we have to check, uh, we have to test it with uh, a multimeter. Now, before testing a capacitor, especially if the capacitor is an old one or it has been used already, you have to short the terminals. You have to completely discharge the capacitor. So, how to do that is to... Uh, you're going to uh, discharge the, the capacitor by shorting the terminals. Since malayo, then you have to use a probe. Ito. Although this is a new one, we expect that it's not been used. So, para siguro lang. But for um, old capacitors, kagagaling lang sa circuit, then you have to dis completely discharge that. So, to protect our multimeter okay so it's very clear that the uh, the markings here you just follow the position of the capacitor and we found out that the negative side of this capacitor is this one if you read like this uh, in front of you so you can read the, the markings here The negative side is this one because uh, if you check the printed circuit board, the leftmost side or the edge is the ground side. So if you check the printed circuit, this is the ground. So this is negative. Then the position of this capacitor is like this. You can read the markings here. So the negative side is this one. So also this one, the new, the new MKP capacitor. So you have to read this one. So the negative is this side. So, we can now put this capacitor in place to the circuit board. It's the negative side.
and you it tingnan mo okay na aha in place na siya you got the extra terminals oh okay this is it so before putting back the uh, printed circuit board i have to uh, unscrew first this uh, exhaust fan because i reviewed the video and i found out that i wrongly installed this one baligtad <laughs> siya so i have to uh, reinstall that exhaust fan so it's very important to uh, record your uh, disassembling of a of, of the components of any device so that if you have problems later on in uh, assembling back the parts you have to review or re review the video or take some pictures para sigurado so after connecting this uh, the electromagnetic coil to its uh, to the circuit board now we're going to place it back to its uh, position again the induction coker works by transferring uh, electrical energy from this magnetic coil to the pot or a frying pan that's why if you try to check your the bottom of your pot or frying pan you can see there's an a metal there iron supposedly that is ferromagnetic ferro means iron so it should be metal iron so that the uh the, the bottom of your pot or a frying pan will uh, re interact with the um, electrical energy that being produced by this magnetic coil and by doing that the uh, magnetic coil induces uh, eddy current to your um, frying pan or pot. Now we are transferring back the top of cover of this induction uh, cooker and the top cover has the control panel here and it has, it has a cable here so we will have to connect this uh, back this uh, cable to its socket and if you try to observe the socket is here i don't know if you can see it okay we'll close up okay so that's the that's the uh, uh socket okay now if you observe this uh the top of my uh induction cooker there's a crack here I don't know if you can see it. We'll try to check. Close up one and here. Just look at this. This is the crack. The crack was produced by the explosion of the capacitor. Since the pressure inside is so hot already, then the capacitor exploded and it produces a big crack here. So before um, tightening the screw, check if everything is uh, tight. Check the sides if the case is properly tight. Okay. Okay. So you proceed and um, tight, tighten the screws. And finally, we are going to test the unit if it works. Uh huh. There is no light, meaning it doesn't work, it has a problem. So what we are going to do now is to um, open again this uh, induction cooker and check what is the other problem or problems, perhaps there are other problems. So this is the culprit, um, upon checking the circuit board I discovered that there's another uh, safety capacitor that is uh, already dis uh, disconnected from the circuit because one of the terminals of the capacitor was broken 
so if you see this video on the right side there's no more terminal so I'm going to uh, I'm checking I, I, I tried the tester and it's still good so what I'm going to do now is to put on uh, to put back the terminal so this is already repaired and you can see there the oil is boiling so this is it follow my uh, blog please subscribe to this channel and click that alert button so that you will be um, informed of any video like this do it yourself repair of your appliances and devices at home